still on a, a bit of a door holder um, related buzz here this morning so a quick video on the 24 volt 2 amp uh, door holder power supply unit so I've done a I've done a, a previous um, a previous video where I've showed the um, the uh, the CTEC um, double gang unit uh, this is a much um, a much larger power supply it's two amps so each of the um, BC244 door holder units uh, has about a 16 milliamp consumption so a two amp power supply unit you really can connect um, a lot of these up to it as I've said before in some of these videos you need to be mindful of your your current consumption when you're installing these um, if you have a very long cable run double up on your cables use a heavier cable so that you're getting the full benefit of your two amps throughout your your whole um, cable run but you have an output here which is your 24 volt output to your door holder unit and then you have a control input here so what this is looking for is just an open or closed contact and you can set the dip switch here to say whether it's it's open or closed so um, you take a, an IO on an addressable fire alarm system or you connect it to um, uh, the relay on the, the fire alarm panel or alternatively um, and I have a separate video on this you could use a relay on a plate um, an, an RPL 24 as opposed to just randomly attaching a relay to a plate uh, and that will take a 24 volt trigger and give you a, a dry contact that you can then use to trigger this so I, do, I just wanted to show you this the, what's what's in it the usual tie, tie wraps to hold your batteries in place um, there's no backup battery in this because traditionally if your power goes in your building you actually want your your doors to close and um, there, there's no need to kind of have a, a, a separate battery backup but just want to show you uh, you have a fault light power on light so kind of good indication that things are, are okay for you so just a very brief overview of that all in stock here thanks